And there are those who see a chance to lift someone up to achieve the impossible. Their stories rise to legend. So tell me, what do you see in Quill? Because her story depends on you. There are those who look into the eyes of another and see opportunity. A soul to corrupt and twist. Their stories are the ones we fear. And there are those who see potential. The light within the soul. A chance to lift someone up to achieve the impossible. Their stories rise to legend. So tell me, what do you see in Quill? Because her story depends on you. There are those who look into the eyes of another and see opportunity. A soul to corrupt and twist. Their stories are the ones we fear. And there are those who see potential. The light within the soul. A chance to lift someone up to achieve the impossible. Their stories rise to legend. So tell me, what do you see in Quill? Because her story depends on you. Hello, hello, and welcome to Moss Book 2. Uh, I'm Chris, this is Gross Models, and this is Katie. Hi. See, she is there. Um, yeah, for some reason the audio is not working quite as it should, but it should be all right for you lot. 
It's just Katie that can't hear it very well. But, you know, we don't care about that, do we? Hey. <laughs> um, so, hello to everybody that's watching. Steve131, Mark, we're here. Uh, Gemma is here. Candy Grand from Mongo is here. Lynn is here. Dorcasaurus. And I just saw Fox Model Making Guru popped in briefly, but he's not here for long. Um, right, audio and video are both very good, says Candy Grand. Thank you very much. That's uh, much appreciated. Let us know these things. Um, Yes, this is part two of Moss. It's only part one of this series, but it's part book two of Moss, although there's only one book. I don't know quite how it works. But, um, yeah, I have played through the first level myself, not streaming it, just to make sure everything worked, which is why you can see some of the window is filled in there. And I don't know about the leaves down the bottom. But uh, Katie is new to this. She obviously played through the first game, so she knows what she's doing, vaguely. I don't think I do. But uh, we'll, we'll find out what's what. It was a long what. time ago. It was a while back, yes. Uh, do let me know that my audio is balanced with Katie's. I can tweak both of them on the fly if need be, if I'm too loud or she's too soft, which is probably the case. But uh, so let me know in the chat. I can keep an eye on the chat. Katie can't see the chat, but anything important, I shall read out. She can hear me. She's trying to set fire to her fingers at the moment, so, yeah. I like uh, how they move. <laughs> Can hear Katie great, says Lynn. So thank you very much for that. Right, do you want to open the book and we'll start? <laughs> remember to look directly at things so they can see it. So I have to look down a bit more. That's a bit. We up a little bit you, from that. dear reader. Even if you do not remember us. You see, this is no ordinary book. Within these pages lives a hero. One who could determine all our fates. Ah. It's a magic book. She needs a reader who knows just how important they truly are. Shall we begin? Uh, apparently Katie does sound quiet. I should turn Katie up a little bit. Hey, across. <laughs> Every war in Moss begins and ends with the Five Glass. And on the Cinder Night, the Arcane tried to take them all. Sir Argus, commander of the Kingsguard, sacrificed everything that night to ensure the King's Glass was safe. The Sprites, too, had their own glass to protect. And their great champion did so until his final breath. It was your uncle or something, wasn't it? I think so. The story of his glass would resume much later when young Ladybird. Quill of the Clearing, out on one of her humble adventures, found what the Sprite Champion concealed in death. When she showed her uncle Argus the green glass, everything changed. He understood well the gravity of her find and rushed off to seek counsel with the Sprites. But Argus was captured by the Arcane, and so the starving Aduran came to Quill with a promise to lead her to her uncle. Quill knew of starthings only from campfire tales of magic and mischief. Yet still, she decided to follow. Quill knew her uncle needed her, but not just her. You see, Quill was bonded by the glass to a reader a soul whose gifts proved the perfect complement to the young hero. Together, they were twofold. Mm -hmm. Look, that's my circle. Yeah, that's your face as well. No, it's not. It is. It's not face, it's a mask. They embarked on a perilous journey. The Arcane's pursuit was relentless, and Quill barely survived. A Durin, who had become a friend of sorts, was not as fortunate, ending up in the jaws of Sarfog. Sarfog was the Arcane's most ruthless general, and at the very gates of the castle seized on that cinder night, 
the two fold heroes slayed the monstrous serpent and rescued Argus from captivity. But the arcane do not end with Sarfog. The one who leads them will not relent until the five glass are in their clutches. And that will unravel this world. Our fate rests with Quill. She needs a true partner by her side. And we hope that is you, dear reader. It is. Maybe. Bad so bad. let us begin <laughs> at the castle, where Quill and her uncle must brave the arcane to retrieve the king's glass, still hidden away after all these years. Or so they hope. castle entrance for her uncle's sword. He'd insisted they'd never reach the king's glass without it. Quill was shocked to find it hiding in plain sight. She must have missed it last time around. Yay. Didn't Quill have a sword last time? Hmm? Didn't Quill have a sword last time? Yeah, he lost it because he dug it in at the head of the uh, snake thing. a bit preoccupied. Together, we can accomplish anything, said Quill, looking up to her reader. I couldn't have defeated this monster without you. Thank you for being here with me. She left Uncle Argus alone for too long. He could be in grave danger. All right, off you go then. I don't remember how to move. You don't have to make her dizzy though. And remember, not fire, not water, <laughs> not falling off of higher places. Hey, it's a three leaf clover. How do I jump? Uh, the A button. And the B button is attack. I shouldn't lean forward that far. They had to hurry. Her poor uncle was too injured to defend himself should the arcane find him again. Come on, just keep going. You gotta look for your uncle, he's been left alone too long. She's worried about him. Not worried about the grass, she's Who's worried this? about her uncle. Who's this? That's my uncle. It's a picture of somebody. Maybe it's my uncle. Right. There's Not a ladder a here. You need. It's the actual uncle. There's a ladder here. I can't climb it. How do I put the sword away? You stop swinging it at things. Come on, keep going. I want to put the sword away. It didn't go away. Put it away. There we go.
Where do I go now? Keep that going. Way. Straight up, or do I go around here? You, I'd go straight up. Keep going straight. Your first puzzle. No, I remember stuff like this I can move. Nearly fall off. Only nearly. Uh, come back down a bit. Why? Smash the pots. You've got to remember, smash pots. You told me to stop smashing yeah, stuff. Yeah, no pots you can smash, not the grass. But you get it stuff was smashing too the pots. long. I didn't get anything. No, but you might. I don't know what I gotta do with that. You might not be getting stuff out of these pots because I think I've already smashed these ones. Well, then why did you tell me to hit them? Because it's good practice, and the next level I won't have played, so you'd have to smash them yourself. I don't get what to do with this. Mm, you can only move things in certain ways. I can only move things. I can only move this. Ninja moss, says Lynn. But I can take it along to here. Right. How will that help? Well, I don't know because I can already climb up there. Yeah. Can I lift this up? No. I don't know. Where do you think you need to get? Up there. Up there, but I can't look get up. up look, Moss might, uh, Quill might be helping you. She tells you, points to things and tells you things, doesn't she? Mm, I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, you, I think you need to get onto that other pillar. Well, yeah, but that doesn't help either. Why not? If I can get onto this, it means I need to go from here. Mm -hmm. So, up there, so along. So, I need to get to here. But she can't jump that high. And even going to here, I can go along to here, but what does that help? Nothing. Where do you now need to get? Up there. Or... Ah! Do you think she can jump that far? Take a running start. Don't fall off. Surfing. I feel like I need to press this button. This game is just oh, as weird as I remember it. Quill was <laughs> relieved to find him safe. You found my sword. Hey, look, there's green sword. You wouldn't believe where it was. You know, I never realized just how huge Sarkbog was. Shh, lower your voice, Quill. We're not safe. He could be anywhere. 
The king's glass hides beneath the throne. We must move quickly and quietly. Your reader. Are they still here? Yes, uncle. They're right by my side. We're twofold. We aren't afraid of the arcane. Aww. Who's arcane? I see. He said with a hint of pride. <clears throat> now, keep your ears open and your sword ready. We must get to the throne. I'm not ready to attack anyone, though. Hmm. Am I meant to be following? Yes. I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the look of that. Uh, Jeff says uh, there's a, a printing file for sale for 3D printing a little figure of Quill. Actually, it might be life size. It might be. Arcane here. That's what worries me. What's the arcane? I can't remember. No. No. I don't remember what to do. I can't see you, but I know you're up there, reader. Please. She's in your hands now. Quill. Oh. You are far I too important how to, do that. to risk yourself for me. Yeah, well, you ended up doing that quite a lot, Greater didn't you? Greater good yeah. must always come before matters of the heart. Will didn't understand. He was our family. He'd always come first. But she knew better than to argue. I don't know what I'm meant to be doing now. Go through do? that gate. But it's not open. No. Why does Quill have a green glove on? Uh, it was a thing she picked up from something, wasn't it? I don't know. I don't remember. I can't remember either. It's something to do with the, the green shard thing that she found in the middle of the tree. Try pulling it from the other side. But it looks like a door, trap door that I don't want to fall down. <laughs> what do I press? I think it's not that button. I did it. Go on ahead. I'll stay a few steps behind. You focus on getting to the throne. Get off there, though. I don't like this. As soon as I, I don't want to step down. I think it's going to be a very long, boring game if you don't. I know, but they're going to come out of there and there. Yeah, then you got to hit them. But, um, Maybe I can just run super quick straight up there. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that'll work. Oh my god. Ow. 
I died. Oh dear. But I remember to hold on to one, so you anyone was attacking that, me. But you didn't remember the not getting hit, the other one. It's not my fault. You've got a dodge when it's going to attack. Well, I can't do that because I'm too busy hitting it. Heal. You're hurt, you want to heal. I did it. And I only died once. <laughs> it's like a progress. I don't want to go down that corridor though. Yeah, you got to go down that corridor. I'm going to go up this ramp first. I got the thing from out there already. Well, I still like the ramp. It makes me feel accomplished. Do I really have to go down there? But it's so long and I've only got little legs. Yeah, but you got four of them. <coughs> it's going to take ages to get there. <coughs> well done, Katie, says your mum. Thank you. What do I do now? I don't know what to do. You should do. No, because I can't get up there. No, you can't. You need to open the gate. But that's... Ah. Oh. Ah. I gotta kill this one as well. No. Nope. Can I just leave? Yep. Puzzle time. Do that. Um. I was wondering if you saw that. I was trying to jump up this bit, it looked whiter. It didn't work. No, oh, because it's got a, bar a barrier on it, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I could have jumped over the barrier. I missed what it did. Release the thing. You can let go of it. No, I don't want to risk no, it attacking me. Trust me, you can let go of it. I don't want to risk it attacking me. You're up above another level, but it doesn't. It just makes it stop. <gasps> Pink. Will was awestruck. This was the legendary throne room, the same room where her uncle was once knighted by the king. There's a hole in the ceiling. Yeah, it's all old. Is that why there's so much grass? What's that? That's the scroll things you've got to collect. That's what makes the window pictures. How am I meant to get to there? I don't know. Is that why you didn't get it? There's one in there as well. <gasps> I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Ah, I'll 
clear. She calls back to her uncle. I've waited years for this moment. By all that's good in this world, I hope it's still locked. Ha! The fools never figured it out. He snickered. Uncle Argus then turned to Quill with a wink and a smirk, and plunged his blade into the throne. His sword was the key. But the triumph soon faded as they descended into the eerie quietude of the secret chamber. Please be safe. Her uncle pleaded under his breath, with an air of unease Quill had never heard before. A voice barked back. I'd retreat if I were you! Dark, dark magic afoot here! One whip of my wand and a swarm of undead wasps will scour you alive! Her uncle laughed. <laughs> Barnard, don't tell me all this time alone has you communing with the dead. I... I don't have undead wasps. Total bluff. He chuckled. My dear August, I can't believe it's really you. I'm so sorry, fretted her uncle. I tried to get back to you so many times. I just couldn't kill that vicious snake. Their long-awaited embrace was cut short. Argus! Barnard panicked. I feel the reader's presence! The usurper followed you in! No, Barnard! This is Quill, my next of kin and a twofold champion. They slayed Sawfog. Holy whiskers on a weasel! Barnard was stunned. I. Oh my. Then there's much to discuss. Mogwon tea, anyone? Hey, uh, Dennis has got here. Uh, good evening. Oh, it's too late. What did I miss? Uh, you missed the first chapter, but um, Barnard yeah. spent hours recounting his years in hiding, protecting the King's Glass from the Arcane. And with Sarpark dead, that winged tyrant will tear this castle apart. He knows one glass is here. Now two. This is bad. Very bad. Not if Quill gets all five glass first, said her uncle with a grin. Madness, Argus! Barnard replied. Even a twofold cannot take on their army. Not with a ward and forging screechers and scorchers and Arthur knows what. Hogwash. Uncle Argus retorted. Quill can handle that bloated behemoth after she rallies the Sprite army. Don't you see? Once we join all the glass, there will be no arcane. Even Vader will see it our way. She must. We could unwrite them all. Barnard mused. But Argy... The truce states the glass must remain separate. Truce be damned. We need the remaining glass to restore peace. But first, Quill must rally the sprites. It's the only way. Right, well that was the first chapter. Now the question is, do we want to do another chapter or do we want to call it a night there? How long will the next chapter be? I don't know, I haven't done the next chapter. Swelled Quill's pride. I would assume about the same time as the first chapter. Let's do the next chapter. 
Sorry. And it Let's do another chapter. Started. Do another Claiming chapter. Okay. King's glass. Um, I can't help you from this point on much because I haven't done this next bit. So uh, you weren't much help in the first. I, one. I was a great help in the first one. No, you weren't. Oh, okay. You got to smash things on this level though. Just come down and smash all the all the barrels and stuff and gather all the stuff. What if I get attacked? Then you can uh, smash them as well. So much gold. It's probably a dragon. Dragons like gold. Don't Is that Tupperware? Where? Off to the right a bit. Maybe. <laughs> oh. No. This is obviously some sort of hub level where you've got to do different... Oh, I don't know what that is. That might be like a level. You've got to do the, the sun level or something. No, because taking this stuff that I just got. Yeah. So let's not go near that. I don't know. It might not be taking it. It might be just using it to unlock things. Well, it's still scary. Uh, Jeff says, yay, more gameplay. Yeah. Yay. Lots of smashing. I can't really see any. That's where you came from. Is it? I think so. Did you come out of the door? Or did you come from up the stairs? I don't know where I came I don't know. from. I go up the middle stairs and see what's up there. The big spotlight. That's got to be the next thing to do, isn't it? Not, not that stairs. I think this is where I came from. You because came along look, this way, but I don't know. It won't look because it won't let me go up there. Oh, it won't. Oh, okay. Okay. No. It, when I go to the bottom, um, Quill turns around. So I'm guessing that's where I came from. The big long corridor thingy. Mm. Don't press it. Press it, press it, press it. Go on. Don't do press it. it. Do it, Quill. Press it. Don't do it. Two down. Three to go. Oh, oh Quill. dear. Excited by the adventures ahead. I don't like this spotlight. What did you do that for? Barnard was now? clear. She'd find quick passage to the sprites through the Room of Realms. I think that's that one. Must be. I don't know what you did at the top there, but yeah. I took something. <gasps> go on, go in there, you know you want to. But it's so dark. Careful. No, I don't like this. Got to be saying nice in the chest, though, aren't they? Don't no. fall off. <gasps> don't say that as I'm jumping. Don't fall off. Ah. Don't fall in. Armor. I think so. Is that what that means? <gasps> oh. Okay. Was it point? Okay. Yes, it's armor. You've got some sort of inventory thing to worry about. I don't remember like how King's I did that. Guard of old, Quill now felt the history of every battle her uncle led. The charge of the hedge knights. The last stampede. She could almost hear her uncle's commands. Cool. See? That was a nice tunnel. 
I don't know what to do now. Uh, probably go back up the top again. Might be different now you've got the armor. Still get some trousers. <laughs> no, same thing. Wait. No, maybe not. Okay. Maybe you can go back out again. Maybe you can go out now you got dressed, half dressed. Yep. The shirt of climbing stairs. Quill could see the green glow of the sprite realm radiating the from guy? the doorway ahead. Hello. What do I do now? Explore. It's exploring leads to me getting hurt. Quite possibly. That's not a nice thing to say. I want to go in here. I don't know, that looks green and poisonous. Well, I've walked through it now. <laughs> Scroll. Hmm. Green is good, red is bad. Uh, sometimes. Yeah, because that red has fire. And the green is flashing. I can't reach it though. Only sprites can cross here. Croaked an unseen voice. I have the green glass. I'm your champion. Oh, fine then. The voice grumbled. But no one here is calling you champion. Mm. It looks so cute. I went in water. Look that way. Butterfly. Ooh. Like a tree trunk. Where am I? Here, right. Scroll. Scroll where? I don't it know how to get to there. It was as if the castle of her people had been plucked from its roots and planted among the vibrant hues Bless of the you. sprites. Quill marveled at the magic of it all as she hurried to rally the sprite army. See, I can't jump up there. So I can't get to it. It's just stuck. Hmm. Hmm, what? I just wondering, it's the sprite realm, but what some what? people what if you prefer seven up? I don't like either, I'll say. Oh, I just... Could you look at a little bit higher and you're not in the middle of the screen? I thought you just jumped off the bottom to nowhere. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. Scroll. Where? I can't get to there. You want me to die. You're trying to make me jump Can you go to further in there? Is that a thing? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know how to get down. Help, I'm stuck. Here we go. Climbing, it's quite interesting. I'm climbing, yes. Then I can't fall. You fall down there. No, I drop. Uh. Yay. I want to go in the water. I don't think you do. I think I do. How do I do anything else? I need to go up here again. I can't go this way anymore. There we go. All the way up. Hmm. What 
stop going hmm. It's a thing. It made me do it. What? I don't know. I'm just a bit confused. Well, you're making me paranoid when you <laughs> keep going hmm. Hmm. Stop it. There's a big cave there. Something's going to come out of that, isn't it? I don't like it because I can see something there moving. <gasps> no. Wow. no. Oh my god, it's so cute. Croak the toad. If it isn't the world's smallest snake slayer. <laughs> Sarfog was only the beginning. We're here to ask Vega <laughs> and the sprites to join our fight. Impossible. The toad scoffed. Root Vader, revered leader of the Maya sprites and astute seer of the fates and patterns of nature's purview, does not take walk-ins. Please, our fates depend on it. I need to speak with her. And I need a nap. Fine. You're the champion. So prove it. Follow <gasps> this little bud here. See where that leads. Then Scroll. by all means, come back here. And I can't walk move. Right here. Now shoot. It's so cute. Uh, Dennis is in the chat. He says, hmm. Did you see the toad give me a fist bump? Yes. Can you get to the scroll yet? No. Quill found the toad's behavior curious. But the I'm sprite bug seemed eager to help her reach Veda. No, I can't jump up. I lost it. It's up there. Well, it's green and it's camouflaging in with all the rest of the green. Why well, couldn't it have been a different colour so it stood out more? I don't know. He's toad alone. He's tired. I think you've got to climb up the thing. I know, but you told me to smash everything. I did. I must admit, I did tell you to smash everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Lynn says, Hmm... Now everyone's going. Not me, it was Lynn. Lynn did it because you did it. I, I don't remember doing it. You have selective memory then. <laughs> I don't remember that. <gasps> I don't think this is going to work. Hmm. Will you stop it? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. It worked. I can't get to that scroll though because I can't jump up there. <laughs> Come on, keep going round. round. We're only watching in 2D. I can't tell if you're going to make a jump or not until you actually land. Neither can I. And I'm doing it in 3D. I don't know either. Well, you powered up a thing. No, I took away one of the branches. Ah, right. So you got to get the other one. i got to get the others. I am. Well, you were just standing there, so I'm sure you can get back to there at some point. This is true. Is that all gone or is there still one there? No, there's one over here I need to ah, get okay. to. So I need to go there, to there, to there, there, there. Okay. There, there. I don't want to go up there. I want this to turn more. 
turn. Don't go down. No, but that, that but, moves, doesn't it? I know, but I need to get up. Yeah, but this goes this way, but oh, I need okay. to get to here. You think you can make it? Yeah, it's got a white thing on the side, so it's probably not going to make it. not going to be able to grab it. You probably get it from the other side, can you? Other side of what? Does it go through? I don't know. There's something there. <gasps> it goes through. Okay, yeah. So I want to... But now I'm screwed because I'm stuck down here. I have to die. No, I'm sure you don't. I can't get through. I'm sure there's a thing. Can I climb on here? <gasps> You need to pull the block back out. No, I don't. I think you can get you at that side. No, see, ah. you do. I you don't. You can only go that side. I don't need to pull the block out. I just need to not fall off. No, it's, uh, the vines don't go up that far. It's going to push you off to the left. Or is it? I don't know. It seemed like it was, but... I need to get up there. See, I did it. Okay. I told you so. But now I need to go up here. So yeah, I need to so that's where you need to block across, don't you? I don't think so. You might be able to walk it, you think? I reckon I can jump it. I just wonder why the block's there if you don't need it. Because I needed it to get from here to there. Yeah, but if it was just there, then it'd be all right. You wouldn't need to move but it. But it was here, so you had to move oh, okay. it. okay. Because it started here. Told you I could make it. Mm. You have no faith in me. Mm. I wonder if this little green thingy has a name. Clever Katie, says Jeff. Thank you. I'm getting better at this. <gasps> no! You said it, not me. I don't like that one. I'm getting better at the normal one, but that one has a gun thingy. That means you can use it to shoot things, doesn't it? What do I have to shoot? I don't remember. But it's a thing, isn't it? No, it means it's going to shoot me. Where did it even come from? <laughs> did you just not jump? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can you shoot with that? I can't remember. Press buttons and see what the trigger is like. Let me get you away from the edge first. No, apparently not. Something happened. Ah. Where did that glowy thing happen? Oh, is that when you let go of it? I don't know, I'm pressing everything. Oh, okay. The glowy thing happens when I hold on to it. No. I'm just going to keep hold of it now. I don't know what to do now. I think you should probably kill it and then kill the other one that appears down the bottom. It might just be that you have to kill all of them. How many do you think there are going to be? I don't know. Yeah, there's going to be waves of things because there's different things. Everything. And I didn't die. 
Yeah. Or well, you did. Not from the thingy <clears throat> shooting me. No, it's just the jumps that are going to kill you. <laughs> Actually, it was the water that killed me because I. Quill didn't, still hasn't learned how to swim. That's what it is. Quill needs to learn how to swim. Can mice swim? I don't know. I'm sure they could learn. They're very smart. They should have taught Quill how to swim before this one. But it hasn't been very long. It feels like it. Well, it has for us, but it hasn't for them. Hey, that's me. It does look that way, doesn't it? What are you doing? What's Quill doing? I don't know. Giving something. <gasps> okay. I think you just powered it up. It's got flowers! Turned it into some sort of flower tornado. My face broke open. That's not good. Dearest reader, the sprites have granted you the means to inspire growth in this world. <gasps> Use this gift wisely. That's and good. And Quill's path will flourish. Ah, right. How do I get up here? I don't know. It's going to tell you how to do it, probably. There you go. Do it again. This one? I get on that though. Up there. there. Oh, there you go. <gasps> That's how you get to that um, scroll uh, right at the beginning. High five! Yay! Maybe Quill will find some more water wings, says Jeff. Yeah, that might be a thing. What's that? Oh, there's another scroll. It was another scroll. <gasps> Sorry, you weren't standing on that. <laughs> well, the blue circle was there, so I thought I had to do something with it. Don't fall off. I don't want to step on the flowers. That's pretty cool, says Dorkosaurus. Yeah, that really is. It's, it's a new way of experiencing and interacting with the world. I like it. I can just start building bridges if I can. Yeah, because you've got this here. And this one. No yeah. Watians, huh? Another Quill thing to watch out for. Recalling the Toad's words. Now they could go back and make their own path to Veda. Uh, how'd you get up there? I'm gonna aim for this way because I haven't been this way yet. Uh, that's where you came from. I don't know anymore. Oh, there you go. There's a grow of vines on the left. Yeah. <gasps> Big jump. I made it. I nearly missed it. Nearly. I nearly jumped off the side. Nearly. Not nearly enough, though. <gasps> Ooh, I thought you jumped off. No, I don't want to step on the flowers. Don't worry about the flowers. You've just made them grow. You can always make them grow again. Ah! I can't see up there. I think I fell off the bridge a little bit. Scroll. Hmm. Hmm. Flowers there, does that mean you can grow something? It's probably where you have to attach it to rather than from. Oh, right, you put that one, then you can put it back to the other one. Yeah. 
Making your own paths is a new puzzle. They don't stay up for long though, because look, they're all going in there. That's right, you don't need them to stay up for long, do you? What if, if I get, making them yet, what if I get yet. stuck? I only just made it. That's right, it made it though. Uh, this is a great looking game, says Jeff. It looks even better in VR and in, you know. How do I get 3D. down? You should make it again. Or you just do that. <laughs> oh dear God. I had to make it just on the safe side in case I didn't make that. <coughs> VR is a, a very strange medium for games. Because <coughs> you can play VR that puts you right in the world and makes you feel like you're really there. Ah. And then you get something like this, which... How do we get to this one? That's a flowery thing. My legs are in the way. Does that do it? Um, yeah, then there's this that is in VR and it puts you in the world, but the world is tiny and in front of you. It's very hard to imagine, but... You can see I want to get that glow. You probably just have to turn off the thing then. But I don't know how you're going to get back from getting it. Can you get back up there? Oh, you've got to jump down. I've got to go down there and along. Yeah, so, um, yeah, it, it's hard to imagine, but VR gives you a, a sense of scale that you just can't get from a flat screen. Casey can see just the size of Quill and how big the world is around her. It, it's so impressive to be part of. I lost the green fairy that I was following before. I don't know that you're following her anymore, are you? I don't know. That's why I, I said I, thought, I lost it. I thought it. the fairy took you to that thing to get the growing power. Well, that's why I said I lost it. Yeah, I don't think I don't think they're bothered okay. anymore. Ah! <gasps> what did you do? Nothing. It's gonna do the. It's gonna blow up. Yeah, but there's a wall there that you're standing next to. I know, but there's one here as well. well let go of it. Then. I think you have to blow up the wall that you're standing next to. Do that to this one. I'm gonna move away. I was away. gonna say probably don't stand next to it while you're doing it. Can't see you anymore. Are you there? I'm over here. I was just checking that no more were gonna come. I didn't want to get blown up. They're probably all just going to come when you jump on that button. Don't say that. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Well, you've got a thing just appeared, so you're going to have to use him. To stand on the things. You know, that makes no sense and absolute sense at the same time, right? But I don't want to be near that. You're right, well, you got. No, because you want to send him up there, don't you? No, I want that to go there. Ah! No, because you need him to be up there so you can climb across there. But I don't want to be near it. What if it falls off? You don't want to be there, put it back down. You're on the wrong side of that wall. No, I'm not. Aren't you? How I you don't know. Ah. How are you going to get up? I don't know. We'll figure that out when we get to it. Let go of him. No. Trust me. Let go of him.
Oh, you can climb up there. Alright, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to get away from that in case it attacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I can't do that. I think you might need him to put the wall down and then you can stand on the wall when it goes up. Maybe. Does that sound about right? So I did need it to be this side. Maybe. You told me not to. Well, I thought you didn't. We did, but then you didn't as well. <laughs> You're no help. Come on, careful. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. Around the corner. My arm bent the wrong way. So you think like this? No, no, you need to I know, but I one. needed to get a good grip on oh, my right. hand again. Ah! You don't want to do it yet? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. I want to get up here away from that. Alright. I'll put him on the other thing anyway, because then you'll I'm getting just sit there. there. I think we're going to go to the left first. There's things to break and possibly other things to do. What other things? I, th I don't do? know. I, I thought you could get behind that to the other things on the left because they're there. No, you used no. it. Smash them with your hand then. I can't. I'm going to fall. Whoops. Wait, what am I on? There you go. Ow! I think Don't I just hit the things. wall. I think I hit the wall. Oh well, trying to do that. You told me to. Quick, light up. Ah oh, right, okay. I couldn't tell where you were maybe going. There's a skull there on the right. I know, but I can't get to it. I meant to go through there, but then... I don't know. I can't get to that, because if I do this, it's down there. Is it? Oh, right, okay. So I'm going to leave that. <laughs> I don't like the holes in the floor. Is that a growy thing? Yeah, but I know that as soon as I jump down, something's going to come out of here, or here, or both. Quite likely. And here. And how do I even jump up here? With this I don't bit? know. Climb, actually, I guess. Run, 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 run. <gasps> No, I'd rather keep... That can, exp that can explode, I'll keep hold of this thingy. At least the music's a bit more peaceful than it was on the last game. This is it, It's battle music, but it's quite nice battle music. Have to kill things. Which one do I kill first? I, well, you might be able to explode. Get the grab the exploded one and put it next to the other one before you let go of it. it might I need up. to hide then. Because oh, you're right up there. No, because it'll hit me. I need to hide here behind the plant. I missed. Wait, there's another one. This won't come down from here though. No, all oh, right, it won't work then. Maybe a little bit. He didn't like that. Don't know why it's attacking me though, I didn't do it. You should did. Yay! There's no more blurry up things though. I'm gonna come from on top.
So I'll cry. Yeah, I think so. <gasps> no, I can't do that. Too many. How am I meant to do this? But as soon as I go up there, that's going to attack me and that's going to attack me. Yep. I'm not safe. says I like this game. Uh, got on the big telly, working on making Sweetie's tweet this floor. I'm lurking. Cool. You're up there, go and get the one at the top. I die? No, you climbed up the top and moved No, off. did I die at all then? We were almost uh, not in that one. Yay! I couldn't wait to see that crotchety toad's expression when they walked right up to Veda's throne. I don't want to jump in the water. But it looks so nice. Look how good it looks. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good on here. It looks nice. Are you sure I can't just dip a tail in? I'm not in control. Fuck! Looks like you may be able to walk in and see Veda after all. Remarked the Toad smugly. Thanks for your help, Toad. Help a rodent? He croaked with exasperation. Never. Now go bother Veda if you must. I could use the entertainment. Right way then. I know I'm going the right way. I just made this bridge. I thought it might have just been to get the thing, the scroll. No, because I need to go closer to the tree trunk then. Yeah. Because I came from over that way more. I came from the glowing door over there, so I'm mm -hmm. heading towards the big tree trunk thing. Uh, 
Um, green. Green Quill strange. approached Veda's hmm? throne with the confidence of a champion. Rootseer Veda, Sarfog is dead. Is that she Veda? Proclaimed. My reader no, and I stand before you now to ask for your help. Yes, the winds carried swift word of your victory, Twofold. Veda replied. And for making safer our soil, we are grateful. I know where one of them was. You mean? We'd be yeah. honored to provide you both you and Argus safe passage back to your home one. in the clearing. I thought I only missed one of them, but there's two missing. I yeah, must have missed two then. Thank you, Quill replied. But Moss will never be safe until all the forged armies are defeated. I have been chosen to safeguard the glass, and with the sprites fighting by our side, my reader and I will claim it all and end the arcane. Veda was wide-eyed at this news. Seemingly in awe. But the awe was anger. The glass cannot be joined! Beta fumed. We separated it for a reason. And now some young, naive mouse dares to bring them together? Quill was caught off guard, but kept her composure. Times have changed! Time is repeating! Beta snapped. The last one who dared to hold these five glass toyed with all our fates. So I will help you twofold. I'll help you to restore a vital balance. Give us back the green glass. Look at the peace and prosperity our realms knew before the Cinder Knight, back when the glass was separate. Veda continued. It is your duty to keep the torched wings that dominate our skies from riding the end for us all. Quill dug in. My uncle Argus, commander of the King's Guard, entrusted me and my reader to restore peace. We will face the arcane and take their glass. It's the only way. Argus is gravely mistaken. Veda seized. Are you here to play God, reader? She shouted to the sky. Is that it? Do you think yourself wise enough to author our fates? Quill defended her partner. We'll fight this war on our own if we have to. And so you will. Let her pass. Veda ordered her soldiers. Then seal off every portal here. I had hoped you wiser than Argus, child. I pray our fates remain our own. Mm. Dorkasaurus says, I've got to go back to work. It's a lot of fun watching you play the game, Katie. You're doing a wonderful job. Hope to see you finish it next week. Bye, everyone. So, bye, Dorkasaurus. Bye. I uh, don't know if we'll be playing next week. It all depends on availability and stuff, but uh, we're going to call it a night Is there the anyway. Is the floor moving? Huh? Is the floor moving? Yeah, well, it's water, isn't it? it it's everything. It's... Turned into the Sprite Land. It's got stuff growing in it and stuff that wasn't there before. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Alright, turn the page. We'll finish the story bit. Oh, there it is. To the so we won't explore this next area today. No. We shall return to it next time. Fuck! As Quill headed back to the castle, the mm -hmm. Toad consoled her in his own prickly way. Don't take it too hard. There's a lot going on that your tiny brain couldn't possibly comprehend. Stay safe, Furball. 
All right. So, yes, we shall call it a night there. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, especially thank you to Katie for playing the game, because otherwise I'd be playing it and then I wouldn't be able to read the chat and everything. So, yes. You wouldn't know what to do. Um, K Katie Plays is going to be a, an ongoing series. Once we finish this in a few weeks' time, uh, we'll find something else to continue on and play. But, yes. Uh, yeah, it's all good stuff. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's Sunday night tonight. Tomorrow I shall be returning to eModels. Uh, it's one. It's an eModels week. Uh, then Tuesday I shall be on Fox's channel playing some Halo. Uh, Wednesday I'm back here at the bench. And Thursday I shall be back playing some more Wanderer myself. And then I so say I don't know if Katie will be returning next Sunday. It all depends on work and availability and stuff so keep an eye on the channel like and subscribe as ever and we shall see you with this or other things very soon thank you very much for watching bye bye bye